Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon White 2 Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we made our way all through Castalia City and the Castalia Sewers, exploring everything, and we even caught ourselves a dumpster truck in Darumaka on Route 4. And yeah, while I was editing, I remembered you can get Braviary over there, or Mandibuzz if you're playing Black 2. And... I don't know, I probably would have went for it just because it's interesting. And it's very dangerous to catch. I probably would have waited a while. I don't know. But now that I've done it and got Darumaka, there's nothing I can do about it. My bad, I missed it. I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay. I know Maryland didn't get it either. He got himself um, Samba the Sand Isle, if I recall. It's been a really long time. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be taking on the third gym leader of the game. We're going to be fighting against Berg. And... Yeah, it's a scary fight, but hopefully we'll be okay. And the level limit's 26, so I'm going to get everybody on the team all the way up to level 25 before we go ahead and enter the gym. And we're going to be doing that now. So just like last episode, I got to do some training like I just said. And when I'm done, I'll meet you next to this Harlequin guy, except we met him on this side. We'll meet him on oh, No, no, OCD, it's not centered. There we go. Feels much better. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm done training. Enjoy the music. Like a ragged ball, we can break them all. Everybody, 
I got everybody on the tree on the stream. Oh gosh, help me. Everybody on the team all trained up to level 25 except for Technotronics here. And the reason for that is Technotronics evolved at level 25. And we've had three evolutions in the last episode all during training. And I thought I'd like to at least show you this evolution so I can do my little cool thing on the sidebar like I do instead of just doing it during training. I don't know. I thought I thought it'd be cool for everybody to watch Technotronics evolve instead of putting it into training, I suppose. So we'll go down in the sewers here. I got him uh, just one fight away with anything. I don't even need to be an auto know. One Pokemon should get Technotronics up to level 25 and have him evolve, which would be really cool. So let's see what we have to fight. Zubat would most certainly be the best thing to fight. Send out Technotronics. And during training, he learned uh, Smackdown, which would be pretty good. I got rid of Sand Attack for it. I don't think I'll ever use Sand Attack with a Pokemon as slow as Technotronics. And yeah, battle animations are off, but that's because I was just training. I'll fix that. Whoa, that's not enough experience? Seriously? Why does Zubat have to give such little experience? Now I feel like this is a bad idea. One more and it should do it. I'm pretty sure we're only like 100 experience off now. A Grimer will most certainly do it. I'm pretty sure they get much more experience than a Zubat would. Or a Rattata, I suppose. I mean, they're not too deadly against Technotronics since he's, you know, a rock type and very defensive. We'll rock blast it unless I miss and I'll be sad. Yeah, we're good. All right. A crit too. Nice. And and that'll do it. All right. Technotronic. Screw to level 25. And with that, what is this? Our fourth evolution of the series? Fourth if you don't count both of Frigos. I don't know. Maybe it's four. I don't know. But here it is. Technotronics is evolving. And with that, he evolves into Bulldore. So, like I said, I'm not too, I'm goodbye Team Eyeball, by the way, because this guy has two eyeballs now. And uh, Technotronics wants to learn Power Gem. Not a chance. Power Gem's a really good attack, but it's a special attack. And Bulldore is not going to use special attacks very well whatsoever. Especially because, well, Technotronics has a special attack lowering nature in Jolly. So it's just a bad idea all around, but Smackdown and Rock Blast would be just fine. So during training, this is what happened. Penelope learned Mirror Shot, which is pretty good. I got rid of um, Supersonic for Mirror Shot. Special attack, so it'll benefit nicely, and it's Stab. Although it's inaccurate, it can also lower the target's accuracy, so maybe it'll come in handy at some point. Uh, Frigo's the same. Kindle is the same. Uh, I'm going to teach Return instead of Tackle really quick. Headsman learned Crunch instead of Bite, which is nice. And Bartholomew learned Electro Ball in place of Thundershock. Uh, I did that because it does have a much less power points. But Electro Ball's base power is 60, I believe, no matter what the speed is. So even though Bartholomew is pretty slow, it'll still be better than Thundershock, which I like. And Charge could come in handy at some point. And that's everybody at this point. So um, if you're asking when I'm going to evolve Technotronics and do Gigalith, I'm thinking I won't do it until Clay. I think Clay is a good place to do it. And just a regular playthrough of mine, or in a wedlock in my personal time, I'd probably evolve him right away, just because why not? I like to... I don't know. I, I want to give Boldor a chance, since, you know, most people evolve him right away, I would assume. And yeah, Maryland didn't get to evolve his into Gigalith. Maybe Tectotronics will outdo that. And yes, I remember where his died. So, maybe I'll do it a little test where he has to beat that trainer. I don't know. I don't remember what trainer, what the Pokemon trainer had or anything, but... It, but I know where he died. Regardless, that's the team now. We got everybody level 25. So I'm going to go ahead and heal. And I'm going to go ahead and make our way over to Berg. And we'll take on the third gym leader of the game. I'm really excited. And I'm also very concerned. He can be very difficult. That's for sure. Challenge! Wedlock! White 2! Pokemon! More! Some! 2! Back! Welcome! And everybody! Hello! Uh, I don't know where that came from. But I read the... I read the intro to my videos backwards. Yeah, so we're going to be... I, I don't know why I did the intro. I already did the intro to this video. I don't know. Tell me if you even knew what I was doing until I was done, because I didn't. I didn't sound right. Whatever. We got everybody trained up, as you guys saw in the last part of the video. And it's been a little bit, but now I'm ready to take on the third gym leader of the game. I'm really worried about Berg. Berg is interesting. I like this gym. This gym in White 2 is really nice. I like the music a lot. It reminds me heavily 
of the white tree. I think it's the white tree. The puny tree. The great puny tree in po uh, not Pokemon. In Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Um, it's just the music, the looks, the atmosphere, everything about it reminds me a lot of um, the I, the great puny tree, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. The chapter where you get flurry and all the little punies. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, hello! You're probably tired from wandering all over the crowded streets of Castelia City looking for Team Plasma and the Gym Leader. So here, I will give you this. And Clyde's gonna go ahead and give us a fresh water and confirm that he is, in fact, Clyde. And the theme of this gym is none other than, con than cocoons. You head upward by going inside of the cocoon and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg, eventually. So you need to find your way up to Berg by going into these cocoons. It's a really interesting gym. And I'm not really concerned at all about the gym itself, except I'm worried about the gym leader, obviously. Berg is interesting. Um, he's really difficult in black and white, and black and white too. And seeing as how seeing as how this is challenge mode, I'm kind of fearful. I'm gonna lead with Frigo here. Uh, I know Frigo is obviously not somebody we're gonna want to lead with in this gym. Seeing how she she is weak to bug types, and if you haven't been able to put, figure it out by the cocoons. And, well, Berg's bugs. Um, yeah, Berg is a bug type gym leader. And so are his leader. So are his gym trainers. And Clarence here is going to go ahead and have a sea waddle. Which, honestly, we can dumpster truck that sea waddle. And if we can't dumpster truck the sea waddle, it can't dumpster truck us. So, yeah, I just stayed in for that. There's no real reason not to. Uh, I led with Frigo in um, thought that there might be a Dwebble. Which, we still wouldn't want to fight Dwebble with Frigo, but I can switch out and then... I don't know where I was going with this. They both get experience this way. I'd like Frigo and Kindle both to be level 26, which is the level limit, by the time we fight Berg. Because I'd like them to be as high of a level as they can get at this point. Um, let's see. Battle animations, yeah, I remember. I, I know I didn't turn those on. I'm going to lead with Technotronics for this. Um, next trainer. I'm sure somebody's gonna have a Dwebble, which we can handle with Technotronics, no problem. Technotronics can fight any bug type except for Seawaddle and its evolutions. So, I'll let him do that. Uh, it's no big deal if Kindle and Frigo don't hit level 26. I'd like them to, but at the end of the day, one level isn't going to make that much of a difference. So, let's see. If I walk in front of this cocoon, somebody's gonna hatch from it. Look, it's a butterfly. A butterfly. It's a Butterfree. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's a Harlequin. He looks absolutely nothing like a Butterfree, and you know what? Like, you know, I, I, it reminds me of strippers. Uh, Harlequin Jack as a combi. Well, this is awesome for Technotronics to have his debut battle as a Bulldor in. Let's go, Technotronics, or Tektronics, whatever you want to say. I'm probably going to say Technotronics forever. Oh, it's faster than me. Interesting. Uh, Gust isn't going to do too much, but yeah, I thought it might have done a little bit more. Seeing as how it was a special attack, but... No, not from a combi. Not from a male combi. I feel so sorry for that guy, but, you know, whatever. We got to use a combi in a wedlock of ours. I'm not going to spoil it, but... Yeah, you guys know who it is if you were here for the platinum wedlock. Anyways, let's set out Penelope. Because this guy does have a Swadloon, I believe. Yeah, Swadloon's not the greatest thing to be fighting here with these two. But I'm going to paralyze it. I can't really do too much to Penelope. It's just going to be kind of a stalemate here. Penelope having the Eevee Light, Swadloon's not going to do anything to us. It's going to be so resistant, but it's also resistant to us. So paralyzing, it's going to stall them. the amount of turns it gets to attack me, I suppose. Yeah, Razor Leaf's not going to do anything. Yeah, I did a little bit more than I thought, but... And with a high crit ratio, it could pose challenge, but... As long as we spark it a couple of times, we should be in good standing here. Oh, wow, that does, like, no damage. This could take a long time. I'm going to go for Mirror Shot. Maybe I can lower its uh, accuracy, maybe. Oh, that's neutral. I, I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, I'm glad I didn't use Spark over and over again. Um, Mirror Shot's inaccurate, 15% anyways. So maybe we'll miss. No, we're good. Uh, being neutral is really great for these uh, grass types. You know, if I felt a little ballsy, I'd um, do the Gym Leader with Penelope and Technotronics. But I... You know, I, I pondered that idea last episode. I, st I still don't think it's a good idea. I'm not going to do that. I have I considered it. I gave it a good old, you know, thought. But it's just not going to happen. You know, as long as Kindle hits 26, I'll be okay with that, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Let's go into this cocoon now. There should only be one more Harle Harlequin left. Oh, uh, no. There's two more. 
I'm not too sure why Berg hires Harlequins. Like, I know he's a painter, but what, is Har what do Harlequins have to do with painting? Like, I don't know. It's funny, because I think of Dimitri. Um, Dimitri Listo from uh, Sly Cooper. Uh, he's a painter. And he... Um, in the in, in the intro to his chapter uh, or his episode in Sly, it shows him painting, uh, hanging from a, a rope, like swinging from a rope, like somebody would, like a Harlequin, perhaps. Um, I think Harlequins might have something to do with, uh, what is it, an, an art style, perhaps, because in Sly, Dimitri, I believe he was swinging from that thing and painting at the same time as his own kinetic aesthetic. I think that's where that comes from. I don't know. I think, yeah, that's where that comes from. Yeah, that's right. But it's like Dimitri's art style. So I don't really have any reason to think that Pokemon trainers being Harlequins would relate to art. But it does kind of, if you look at it like Sly Cooper does anyways. Um, no, Rock is not super effective against Kindle. For anybody that might be thinking, why'd you stay in? Rock Blast would still do a pretty decent amount of damage, because it would be neutral. But, ooh, that concerns me greatly. Dwebble. You know Berg has a Dwebble. You know, this is just a really bad matchup. Um, Kindle's really our best bet. And if we can get some speed builds going... You know, I don't really have a strategy for Berg. I'm just going to be straight up honest about it. There's really not too much I can do here. I'm aware, I've talked about this... That Maryland did have a pair of Pig Knight and Levani, just like Kindle and Frigo, that did die to Berg. I'm, I understand this. I don't remember how it happened. I just know it happened. So, logically, you'd think, well, if I fight Berg with my Pig Knight and Levani, they're both going to die too. And you would be that would be a good observation. But I don't remember exactly what happened. Critical hits could have happened. I... I, I think they died to his Levani with Slash. That's my memory speaking. I don't know if that's exactly true or not. But who's to say that won't happen to Kindle and Frigo? And there's really nothing saying that. Like, we just have to go for it. And my only thing that makes me feel better about doing it is what other options do I have? I don't really have any other options. The only other option would be using Technotronics and using Iron Defense three times on his lead, which I believe is a Shelmet. That would be my best bet other than these two, but it would still be a bad idea because one crit from Levani kills me. I know I have Sturdy, but being full health all the time isn't really an option. Uh, it would be... It just sounds like a really bad idea. I don't think it'll work out because I do think his Levani knows Leaf Blade. Which would be horrible. And it has a high crit ratio. It's just a bad idea. I'm just going to go with the logical choice. And hope for the best here. So if we ride this um, final cocoon up. It should take me to the top. And it does. And you can see his whole room is filled with paint. And you know there's like watercolors all over the floor. It's a really cool looking area. So I'm not going to go all the way back to heal. I'm just going to use some potions. To get everybody to full health. Uh, being Penelope and Technotronics. And they're probably not going to fight anyways. I just want to be very certain. Like, if it came down to it, I want them to be at full health. It would be bad not to have Sturdy if something actually came down to that. Because if I do lose these two, and there's only one Pokemon left being Levani, I'd probably send out Technotronics just because of Sturdy. So, with that being said, it's time to fight the third gym leader of the game. And this could be very very bad fight somebody very well could die here um we do have battle animations on i just want to be 100 percent sure and with that being said let's go for it with, with throw over here give me a sec <laughs> all right guys i got dealt with throw really quick he's down he's all right so one thing i want to do before i fight the gym leader is i do want to take kindle's item i want to take the charcoal and i want to take penelope's item as well the eviolite and i want to give the eviolite to kindle That'll be plus 50%. Uh, I apologize if you heard that. It's my bad. Uh, it's plus 50% in both defenses to Kindle. Which, since I'm going to be using him and not Penelope, that's my best bet here. And I'll give Penelope the leftovers just in case something absolutely horrible happened. It'll just be a little backup item. We've got another leftovers in here somewhere. Where is it? Do I not? Excuse me? Or is it in healing items? That makes no sense. 
Who's got my second leftovers? Does Headsman still have it and I never gave the Silk Scarf back? I'm so confused right now. Where's my leftovers? I should have a second pair. Didn't we get the second one? Am I blind? Somebody. Leftovers. Hello. What? Where are they? You guys remember last episode we got the second leftovers? Where'd they go? I'm, I'm uh, losing my mind. Guys, please. 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 I'm so confused right now. I'm gonna have to have a talk with myself later. You know, I wanna check the recording. Did I? I swear I got leftovers. I'm so shocked right now. What even? Does Technotronics have it? No. What even? <laughs> I'm, I don't care. We're going in. We're just... Sorry. I'll figure out what happened to those leftovers. Did I get them? I swear I did. Whatever. We're going to stop this. Let's talk to him from behind. Never mind. Not Bird. Somebody else. Somebody else. Besides Bird, please. And with that being said, it's time to take on the third gym leader of the Pokemon White 2 Wedlock Challenge. Will he pose a threat? Or will he simply be a cakewalk? Or in this case, a paint walk? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, let's just do it. Let's talk to him. I'm ready! I think. Let's do it. It's, it we've committed at this point. You can't change back. Alright. Good work back there in the sewers! My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle with you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great, like frosted flakes. Come on, let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes and are so cute. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it can make clothes for other Pokemon out of its leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all of my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it! Third gym leader of the Pokemon White 2 Wedlock Challenge versus Bird, the bug type gym leader of Castalia City. Challenge mode, let's do this. And first up is going to be Dwebble. I thought it was Dwebble. Oh, I thought it was Shelmet. Maybe he doesn't even have a Shelmet. He doesn't. It's Carablastly, Vanny, and, and something else. I don't remember. Okay, now I'm fearful. I regret this decision. Okay. Really, there's nothing I can do other than build speed with Flame Charge. Let's go, Kindle. Hit it! Flame Charge! Critical hits would be very well appreciated. I take that back. It's going to use Rock Blast, and I'm going to see what critical hits mean. So it's going to go for Rock Polish. And really, that's not that big of a deal. It's going to raise its speed sharply, which means it's probably going to outspeed me here. But it really doesn't matter if it continues to go for that. So let's just keep going with Flame Charge. Rock Blast. All right, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. The EV Light's definitely helping out a lot. But if it hits a lot and hits with crits, we could be in bad bad shape. But it didn't. So we're going to go for Flame Charge, putting us back at equal speed to it, meaning we should it should outspeed it this final turn, being able to take it out. Whoa, it has a berry? You're kidding me. Well, you jerk. It has a citrus berry. Well, well dang it. <laughs> Let's Flame Charge it. We should outspeed this time. Hopefully we can crit it or something. But if it gets me to really low health, I'd actually prefer that. Because we could both heal up here. Or it's just going to go for Rock Polish. We're still at equal speed. No, we're not. Eh. You know, I'm not going to heal. It would be silly to heal up this health. So I'm just going to go for another Flame Charge. Hyper Potion. Oh my dear god. <laughs> I just looked at my Flame Charge PP. And that would be so bad to lose somebody because I ran out of power points. We're like at max speed though. You know what? I don't have an X-Attack. I was going to say, let's just use an X-Attack. Mm. You know what? Arm Thrust to probably do more. I don't know why I'm... Well, we got speed now, so let's try it. Arm Thrust. One. Two. Three. All right, only three times, unfortunately. You know, if it's going to Rock Polish, it doesn't really matter. All that's doing is raising its speed. And if it's not going to outspeed me anyways, it doesn't really matter. So it's going to now. I mean, if it's not going to attack me with anything other than Rock Polish, it doesn't matter. Alright, one, two, three. You can stop now. Okay, cool. Now we can hit more than three, hopefully. One! A two? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Aw, oh, dear. This is so bad. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Um, Use your other healing item, please. No? Alright. This is horrible, because if it gets me in a really low situation... 
Oh my god. Oh my god, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Arm thrust. And that should finish off level. Okay, good work. Now, what I don't want to see is the word leave Annie across my screen. Carablast. Very good. Okay, next up is going to be Carablast, his challenge mode exclusive. Level 24, bug type. So we're going to use our healing item, number one of the fight. I'm going to use a lemonade on Kindle. Let's make sure I hit Kindle. That would be horrible. So it's probably going to go for Struggle Bug here. I don't really know what else it has. What? That's what it was! No! Okay. I remember, guys! I remember now, and it's too late to go back! <sighs> oh, God. It knows Aerial Ace. That's what it was. But that's okay. Maryland wasn't fast enough, but we are! Kindle Flame Charge! Oh, God. That's what it was. It was Aerial Ace. Alright. But no matter what, we are going to outspeed. So... Unless by some awful, disgusting thing that Kendall can't kill this thing in one hit, we should be good. So, his final Pokemon, well, not his final Pokemon, his ace, Levani, Grass Bug type, level 26. Let's hit it, Kendall. Flame Charge! Please do enough damage. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's four times effective. It's done. See you later, Levani. Thank you very much, Kendall. And with that, Kendall's gonna grow to level 27. Awesome. And his final Pokemon is going to be Shelmet. He does have a Shelmet. That might be the challenge mode exclusive. That is the challenge mode exclusive. My bad. It's not Carablast. He has a Carablast regardless. No, I'm not going to fight it with Frigo. That's a silly. Let's finish this thing off. Final Pokemon is Shelmet. Level 24. Bug type. Berg has a bad feeling about this. Well, too bad, Berg. You're done, Zode. That was a pretty good fight. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Maryland just didn't have enough speed. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. All right, yeah, he's gonna go for curse. It really doesn't matter what you do at this point. This fight's over, and we thank you. Goodbye, Shelmet. And that's it for Berg. Pretty good fight. It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, if he didn't, you know, I, I think what happened in Maryland probably used arm thrust on the Dwebble, which I would have if I just. Did. I don't know why I did a flame charge first. I probably should have done arm thrust first, but. It's a really good thing I didn't. Also, this upstairs area, like the music, sounds reminds me a lot of the space area on the Thousand Year Door. R whatever. We're just rambling at this point. Oh, you are very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise that I lost. Here, take this insect badge. I think it'll suit you. And with that, we get the third badge of the game. The insect badge from Berg. Awesome. Nice and shiny new badge to go next to my other two. The two that I got from gym leaders without getting a death. Yeah, you know. Still, zero deaths with gym, gym leaders. You know, zero, zero deaths to anything from anybody except me. <laughs> the only Pokemon that's died, do I have lost somebody from is because my own Pokemon killed him. You know, but we'll get into that some other time. We'll talk, uh, we're never talking about that again. This, 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 we're good. Ooh, that insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. Oh, and I'll also give you this. And we get TM76, Worthless Bug, or Struggle Bug. It's not anything I'll ever use. It's so bad. But it's so weak. It's a special attack. It lowers special attacks. It's just bad. Like, let's be for real. Like, so I'm going to name, like, this episode The Quest for the Lost Leftovers. Because I don't know where it's at, and it's, like, driving me insane right now. Like, if I'm blind and it was actually in my bag, I'm gonna be pretty pretty, pretty triggered, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think there's anybody that ambushes up, us out here, but if there is, let's just throw Bartholomew up front really quick. And I want to give the, uh, the Eviolite back to Penelope really quick, just so we don't forget. Uh, there's one more thing we can do this episode. I don't want to do anything else this episode, really, because... I want to keep gym leaders to just themselves. But there is one thing that I think we can do before we finish this off. So let's give the charcoal back to Kindle. I'm going to hit the Pokemon Center and I'll show you guys what that is. Alright guys, so here north of Castalia, this guy's going to ambush me when I try to exit the town. Oh, it's you again. Hmm. Eh, if it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokemon? I sure do. I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your pig knight seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species. And you're just a trainer with merely three badges. Hmm, fantastic. 
I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. It is possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers? Or is it there's some other method? A different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? I do. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. So yeah, he wants to battle. And that's what I wanted to do. So, I looked for the leftovers. I checked the Pokemon in the PC. I checked everything. I I can't find them. So, I, maybe I just never got them. <laughs> and is this spaced out? I, I thought I took them off a of Headsman last episode when I when I did all that. But I guess I must have forgot. I don't I don't know. I, did, I don't have any leftovers. So, I did a whole bunch of rambling last episode about getting an extra set of leftovers. And I didn't even use them. So, <laughs> well, I didn't even get it. Which sinks, but... I'm going to avoid these trainers for now. I don't want to fight these guys yet. Uh, I'm going to fight them in the next episode when we explore Route 4. But I do want to fight Colrus, which is right up here. Now, what stinks is I'm not going to fight him with somebody just to fight him with somebody other than Kindle. The best bet is to fight him with Kindle, and that's just all there is to it. I'm not going to risk anybody else to fight because Kindle's higher level right now. That'll fix it. That'll sort itself out here eventually. But yeah, I'm going to fight him with Kindle. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These aren't rocks, but the Pokemon Crustle. Observe, with this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll simply remove them from the path. And yeah, he'll make them all get up. I think Crustle's overworld sprite is really cool. It makes me wish Pokemon followed you in this game, but unfortunately no. Those Crustle were just lying there out of energy with their boulders on their backs. Hmm. Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Now that I think of it, I've never asked you your name. Ah, it's Ross. I'll remember that name. Well then, I will test you to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of your Pokemon. Alright, so I'm going to fight Colrus for the first time. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have his amazing music. And just two Pokemon. In this case, it's going to be a Magnemite and a Clink, Which is why I wanted to fight him with Kindle. It just makes the most sense. He's got two Steel types, and nobody on my team can deal with a Steel type other than Kindle. So I didn't want to fight anybody. We'll fight him with anybody other than Kindle. I'm going to Arm Thrust in case it has Sturdy. That, may, that way, if we hit three times, we can just bypass it. And straight up take it out in one hit, which is really nice. And that'll grow Kindle to level 28, which is pretty sweet. Hopefully, that'll be all Kindle goes to for now. No takedown. We have Return. It's a pointless attack. And his final Pokemon is a Clink. I thought so. And I'll just stay in. Frigo could probably handle it, but really, what's the point? It's just a clink. We can arm thrust a clink as well. Even though they don't have sturdy, I don't really see why not. It should do more than flame charge if I hit three times. And we did. So that's it for clink. Hopefully we can get a clink on this playthrough. I don't know. There's a couple Pokemon in Charge Stone Cave that I'd like to get. It's, um, mainly Nose Pass, but who knows? We'll see once we get there. It's a while from now. I see. Just like the gym leaders in each area or the Elite Four and the Champion in the Pokemon League, you bring out the power of your Pokemon by being kind to them. That's the kind of person you are. I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. And we'll get a protein, which is pretty nice, I suppose. I'm not going to use it yet. I might sell it. I might use it. There's really no way to tell. If I get a Pokemon that balls with happiness, I might just use it on them. If it'll suit them, like if they could use attack. Anyways, I'm going to fight these other two trainers in the next episode, but we'll probably leave off next episode with Headsman, maybe. Uh, or Bartholomew, that sounds fun. Headsman and Bartholomew. Whoa there, let's do this the right way. So yeah, with that being said, I know it's a shorter episode, but I only do gym leaders in their episodes normally. That's kind of the new formula I'm trying to work with here. But in the next episode, we're going to take on all of Route 4, this whole area, and we're going to reach Nimbasa City, which will be really fun. And uh, until then... I'm going to see you guys next time, but if you enjoyed this episode, like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon Wedlocks, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.